Hello everyone. This is the pre-market report video for today, 4th April 2024 for the near stock market in terms of Nifty and Bank Nifty. Yesterday early morning, the global momentum was deteriorated significantly due to the strong US labor market macro data which was released on Tuesday night. In line with that, for the same reason, yesterday most of the Asian market also crashed about 1%. However, not the Indian market. I mean, Nifty did open 70 points gap down, but in the late morning, CLSA rating agency upgraded the target price of TCS, HCL, Wipro and Tech Mahindra. So, all those stocks turned super positive and supported the Nifty. Please have a look. I'm comparing the Nifty's price action with the IT sector index price action. As we see, IT sector single-handedly trimmed all the early day loss. I mean, this CLSE upgrade is not massive. For TCS and HCL, they just upgraded from sell to underperform and only in Tech Mahindra, they upgraded to the buy rating. So I guess this minor upgrade created the short covering. Rather, I doubt this caused some fresh buying. Anyway, this IT stock positivity, then the PSU Bank fourth straight session increase and Airtel subsidiaries IPO open subscription, which we discussed in the last video, all to some extent supported the market and managed to trim all the early day loss related to US and closed near flat. And on the negative side, Nuoma released the report for the March quarter that they expect the FMCG sector volume growth to be in the low to mid single digit, meaning just between 1 to 5 percent, which in turn affected the whole FMCG sector on the negative side up to 0.5 percent, whereas Nestle was the major dragger down over 2 percent. However, the overall market it was in much better place. Yesterday, 70% number of stocks advanced. In comparison, only 27% that closed negative. About institution, again for the third day in a row, FIA was net sellers. FIA net sold for 2,210 crore rupees, whereas DIA again supported the market. The net bought for 1,100 crore rupees. One more thing, yesterday in the afternoon around 2.30 pm for the March month, Europe's consumer inflation came as just 2.4% and it was below the expectation, which in turn turned the European market to trade positive. So that also influenced the Indian market. Forgot to add earlier. Then coming to US, before their market opening, private non-form payroll addition data comes as above the expectation and above the February month value. As usual, please note it's private, not the official one. And the official one will be due this Friday. Still, private payroll addition data made the US market to open negative. However, at 10 a.m. Eastern time, US service payment data comes in favor of the market. I mean, please look at this S&P 500 price chart. The moment at 10 a.m. when the macro released, market turned completely positive and traded positive for most part of the day. Regarding the value, it did come above 50 mark, meaning still the sector is expanding, but not as much as expected. And also it was lower compared to February month. So though this macro contributed on the positive side, Fed Chairman Powell had his conference Q&A session in Stanford University. As we see here in the afternoon, this V-shaped price action was the consequence of his Q&A session. To be frank, he didn't mention anything hawkishly. He said the recent strong economy macro haven't changed the overall picture and he believes he will perform the rate cut this year, etc. So in the end, all three US major index did cut some of their earlier gain. Dow Jones down marginal 0.11%, S&P 500 up marginal same 0.11% and Nasdaq increased 0.23%. In case of VIX, it dropped to below 14.5 from above 14.5 on the Tuesday night. Regarding oil, in OPEC plus meeting, it was decided to keep the oil output policy same as previous, like performing combined production cut of around 2 million barrels per day. And also they pressed for some more voluntary production cut. So oil price also increased slightly, but not much as no major info from the OPEC plus conference. At the time of this video, WTA crude closed at around 85.5 US dollars per barrel, whereas Brent crude trading around 89.5 US dollars per barrel. Coming to Indian ADR, table now turned, both the banks closed negative and both IT stocks closed positive. 
ఐ మీన్ ఐటీ స్టాక్స్ పాజిటివిటీ ఇట్స్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ అండర్స్టాండబుల్ గ్లోబల్ మొమెంటమ్ ఇంప్రూవ్డ్ అండ్ ఆల్సో దేర్ ఆర్ సమ్ ఐటీ స్టాక్స్ రిలేటెడ్ స్టాక్ ప్రైస్ అప్గ్రేడ్ విచ్ వి డిస్కస్డ్ ఇన్ ద ఎర్లియర్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద వీడియో బట్ నాట్ షూర్ అబౌట్ ద క్లియర్ రీజన్ బిహైండ్ ద నెగటివిటీ ఇన్ ద హెచ్ఎఫ్సి బ్యాంక్ maybe investors might just booking profit before the bank's individual credit and deposit growth data which we can expect any time this week anyway the story is now it stocks looks okay but banking stocks looks weaker about gift nifty early morning today it closed at 22555 mark equating it with the spot market for now it's kind of indicating flat to negative opening so that's what happened in the global market now let's move to the new india related info First because now oil price is trading near 90 US dollars per barrel last night Indian government increased the windfall tax on petroleum product to 6800 rupees per ton from earlier just around 4900 rupees per ton and this new tax rates will be effective from today onwards so clearly it's negative for all oil production company including Reliance Industries second yesterday in the aftermarket hours RBL Bank and Federal Bank both released their March quarter's deposit and credit growth rate data. If required, please pause and have a look. Both the banks posted very healthy around 20% deposit and credit growth rate. I personally consider this as positive but not sure how market will react to it. Let's see. Third, Vodafone Idea issued the notification that they are going to raise 20,000 crore rupees fund via preferential rights issue on coming April 6th with the institutional investors. So, potentially that stock will be on focus. As a summary, global momentum improved and Indian IT ideas are looking really positive. However, Gift Nifty is indicating a flat to negative opening and because of this windfall tax increase, Reliance might come under pressure today and also there was a negativity around HDFC Bank. So, it's another rope walk day today. Moving on, as per stock open interest, Nestle, Kotak Mahindra Bank, DLF, Deepak Nitrite, Sale, Ramco Cement and Godrej Properties got an increase in open interest along with a negative close indicates the short build up. On the other hand, Loris Labs, AU Small Finance Bank, NTPC, National Aluminium and Canfin Homes got an increase in open interest with a positive price close indicating the long build up. About the things to look out, today Chinese market will be on holiday. Then during our market hours, first around 10.30 am, Indian service payment data is due. Then around 1 to 2 pm, Europe and UK's service and composite payment data is shall to release. Finally, in the after market hours, US EIS short term oil outlook and usual weekly jobless claims are some of the items we need to keep an eye out today. Coming to technical, Nifty opened 70 points gap down. However, it managed to rebound in the afternoon and closed just 30 points below than the previous day closing. Thus, on the daily chart, Nifty formed a small bullish candlestick pattern with upper shadow. And also, it's the third day in a row, both daily and hourly chart are providing divergent signal. I mean, in the daily chart, the positive pattern is still intact. And again, for the third day in a row, there was a selling in the final hour trading, which means it's a negative crossover. So, both indicating the divergent signal and the more probable scenario will be another consolidation. On the higher side, still Nifty facing the tough resistance at 22,500 on closing basis. So, a decisive close around 22,550 mark might propel Nifty towards 22,650 with a support around 22,350 in the lower end. Then, in case of Bank Nifty, it opened 200 points gap down and continued to sustain above the downward sloping resistance trend line for third consecutive session. Thus, on the daily chart, Bank Nifty form a bullish candlestick pattern with above average volume. Clearly yesterday, Bank Nifty showed the buying pressure from lower levels and managed to sustain above the support zone of 47,500 to 47,400 which all really a positive sign. However, like Nifty, it too faced multiple times the resistance at 48,000. Hence, Bank Nifty also expect to consolidate in the range of 47,400 to 48,000 with potential trending moves expected thereafter. 
on the weekly options front the maximum call option open interest was at 22500 strike followed by 23000 and 22800 with meaningful new call option writing at 22800 strike then 22500 and 22700 whereas on the put side the maximum open interest was at 22000 strike followed by 22100 and then 22200 strike with new put option writing at 22000 strike then 22100 and 22400 Thus, from the options data, 22,500 is the key resistance. After that, it's 22,700 to 22,800 zone with a strong support at 22,200 mark. So, that's all in this video. Hope you all got some useful information. Please consider subscribing the channel and liking the video. So, it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any investment decision based on this as I'm not a SEBI ratio advisor. I am doing this for me and viewers educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.